Welcome back to another episode of ACRP TV. Our spotlight today is on the Wake Forest Master's Program in Clinical Research Management. And we have the right person with us today to talk about the program. Our guest is Dr. Ralph D'Agostino, who's the Program Director of the Wake Forest School of Medicine Program for the Master's in Clinical Research. My name is Michael Causey. I'm the Editor-in-Chief here. And uh, we're very lucky to have you with us, Dr. D'Agostino. Tell us about this innovative program. What's the focus of this Wake Forest uh, master's program in clinical research. Well, first, Michael, I want to thank you for having me on. I really appreciate this opportunity to talk about our program at Wake Forest University. So our program is a um, online program. First off, I just want to make that clear. You know, it's a, a full online program, and it's um, intended to be taken over five semesters. So it's for working professionals to to do as, as a part time online program. What we have been focusing on in our graduate program, we launched it in the fall of 2020. So we have our first class in, in students right now. And we actually have another class coming in in January. Our four major themes, uh, we, we built our program around the theme of healthcare innovation, healthcare integration, uh, leadership and communication skill development as, as one theme. And then really the final and fourth and most probably most important theme is a patient-centered or patient-focused approach to clinical research. So we built the program with infusing those ideas, those themes throughout all the courses and all the program. We ultimately are trying to uh, bring to the students uh, training and in, in all the different competencies that surround a clinical research profession. So that, what does that mean? That means research design, that means statistics, that means regulatory affairs, project management, quality assurance, all these different domains or competencies are we are taught throughout individual classes, but within that framework, we focus on innovation. You know, how do we develop the most innovative trials? Integration, clinical research coming together with clinical care, communications and leadership. We really are trying to develop a set of leaders. Uh, as, a, as you leave this program, we want you not only to have the competencies, but to be able to lead in the groups you go to. And then, like I said, finally, the patient center. We, why do I do this? Why are we involved in clinical research? It's really to bring innovative and important uh, therapies and interventions to patients. So that, that's in a nutshell what we're about. And I feel very blessed to be able to have the opportunity to, to lead this really uh, exciting program. And you, you've mentioned it's online and it's been up and running for a little while. Let's talk about why a program like this is so vital right now uh, for the clinical trial industry now and looking ahead. We've got a workforce shortage. We have a lot of issues to contend with. Talk about the importance of this program right now. Absolutely. You know, I mean, so we were building this program for the last few years, but then, you know, obviously, as everyone knows who's listening, you know, the, the pandemic of COVID-19 just, you know, came upon the world. Well, clinical research is absolutely in the spotlight now in so many ways, uh, because this pandemic made us well aware of the issues involved. How do we test for a COVID? You know, how do we treat COVID? And how do we develop a vaccine to prevent COVID? Those are three important areas that have been enormous amount of effort, time, money are being spent, you know, in developing clinical research to do those things. And you need professionals trained in all elements of that. And so we, you know, timing wise, as you say, uh, the workforce is, um, there are trials all over the place across the world, not just in the United States, you know, working in these domains of clinical research and to have uh, individuals trained uh, to, to what do we want? We want safe and effective interventions that can be brought to patients in a uh, efficient and cost effective manner. So, I mean, ultimately, that's what clinical research is about. And to have people have the expertise and the training to enter that field is, is more vital than ever before. I mean, every day I look at the New York Times to hear another or whatever, you know, I'm, and any uh, uh, newspaper or organization to hear what is going on in the research world uh, about, you know, Pfizer results we just heard about or the Moderna results we just heard about for these, these um, vaccine trials. I mean, it's just very exciting and to uh, realize all the effort of all the teams that come together to make those trials run. I mean, and that's what I think we're trying to educate the, you know, the students about, you know, and that wasn't just a, what, yes, yeah, so go on, Michael. Yes. Wake Forest has obviously been, been at the forefront of a lot of this. And I wonder if you could tell me about, you know, this is a Wake Forest program. And I hear a lot about the Wake Forest advantage. Tell me what that is. Well, you know, what we believe is to be the advantage is, you know, first we are, you know, a very strong academic institution. You know, we have, a, 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 I've been part of Wake Forest for over 25 years now, and we've been very active in the academic world and medical research, medic, medicine. 
But what we also are gonna do and are doing in this program is partnering very actively and proactively with industry to, to bring together the academic strength of a Wake Forest University education with a pragmatic uh, business, if you wish, or, 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 or a pragmatic minded uh, partnership with industry. We want the students to have the best of both worlds to get training in you know, an academically uh, sound and, and um, strong institution like Wake Forest and also have an industry partnership. So how have we done that? Well, we have on our faculty, a combination of, of, of academic we train individuals like myself, you know, I have a PhD in statistics and I've been, you know, professor in biostatistics and data science for 25 years and worked in, you know, uh, lots of, I, I direct our cancer center's uh, clinical research uh, biostatistics core. So I have a lot of that background, but we also have leaders from the industry also as adjunct faculty members teaching our courses because we need that perspective. I mean, we don't want students to theoretically learn how it is to be a clinical researcher. We want them to know, practically speaking, when you leave this program, you need to have the skills available to you to go out and do that. So I think the advantage is this academic industry partnership, the, the combination of high level of excellence and academic, but also a very pragmatic understanding of the, this is an important skill set, an important degree for people to get in the world and do things with. So if you can, talk about some of the ultimate goals of the program. What are some of the measures of success? Thank you, Michael. You know, ultimately, what we're trying to do is train the next generation of clinical researchers, uh, the leaders and innovators in the field. And what we recognize is because our students come from sort of different backgrounds, a metric of success is actually going to be very dependent on the individual student. But the students who are coming into our program right out of college or really you know, early in their career, our job and our goal is to train them in the competencies involved in clinical research management and help place them into appropriate positions in the field. So actually, you know, training individuals and helping them find those initial jobs and initial career options uh, with the goal of them to becoming eventual leaders in the field. For those individuals who are coming into our program who are already in the field, those who are coming in to enhance their career, which is again, a, a, a large pop uh, group of our students, the career enhancer, our goal or a metric of success will be, again, to give them that broad experience or exposure to the competencies, but help really train them to become the leaders in the different groups they work in. So if they're in the quality assurance division, they'll become, you know, have a higher opportunity to be a leader in that group. If they're in the um, statistical area, they'll become a leader. If they're a project manager, they'll become a leader or regulatory for it regulatory affairs, they can become leaders. So we are trying to uh, measure our success by placing individuals into uh, jobs, as well as helping them to become the leaders of the next generation of clinical researchers. Because I think that that's really what we think is the most important thing to have people who can take the skill set and you know bring the innovation to the future. Absolutely, I think the timing for this couldn't be better. This has been our ACRP TV spotlight on the Wake Forest Master's Program in clinical research management. We've been speaking with Dr. Ralph DeAgostino, who's the program director, and wanna thank you very much for your time and for this initiative, very important for this industry right now. Thank you, Michael, great talking to you, and uh, look forward to working with the ACRP in the future.